Good morning friends and welcome back. I am going to show you how to take a terracotta pot and turn it from this into this. And we will be weatherproofing the pot so that you can use it outside to put your flowers into. And the very first thing that you want to do, which I have already done, is you want to seal the whole inside of this. So I sprayed the inside with this sealer finisher by Americana. And I just did a very nice even coat. I let it dry and then I sprayed another even coat all around the whole inside the bottoms the idea is when you water the plants you don't want the water to seep out through the outside or it's going to work, ruin our decoupage and our paint and next thing to so make sure you do that outside or with proper ventilation is you want to use something called patio paint on the outside and you can use it on the inside some people prefer to paint the inside and the outside just to keep the video moving a little quickly. I'm only going to paint the outside. Okay. But I'm so I'm going to use a white paint and I'm using a bristle brush and it's best to paint these from side to side rather than up and down for some reason that works better. And these bristle brushes get into these microscopic pores. So we definitely want to use a bristle brush. It will get in there and I will paint the whole surface and you want to paint it a light color if you're using napkins if, and then I'll come right back when it's done. So while that's drying, I'm taking another pot that I painted uh, obviously a different color but I used the same process and I wanted to show you a trick. When you are decoupaging with a napkin that's got a print on it, rather than try to decoupage the whole pot which could be challenging, a nice idea is to take a template that fits this. Now you may actually have something around your house that all could already be used as a template. I'm going for an oval shape. This is too large as is this. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of what you might have around your house. Here's a bottle and the base of it is the perfect size for what I'm going for so I can make a template a nice oval template so that I will have a nice oval image to place over that spot. And it's really simple to do. The pot that I'm working on is requ it requires a five inch oval. So I couldn't find anything that large around the house and I just googled free oval templates and I fooled around with the sizes a little bit. I think I put in five inch oval template and pulled a few things up and printed one out and here's what that printout looks like and I'm going to attach this now this is the back of one of these notepads so I tore the back off of one that's already been used because I want to use this again and again so I'm going to make a nice oval template for myself you can also buy I bought an oval template I think I found it in the knitting or crocheting department in the craft store and it was for some other purpose but I find that I can use it to make these templates. So all I'm going to do is attach this to this And I'm going to cut out a template so I can use it again and again. Now I have my oval template. This comes right off. I'm just using a wet nap, a baby wet baby wipe or a wet nap here to wipe away that excess glue. I'm gonna let this dry off and that's going to be my template. So here's what I want to do with my napkin. I'm going to cut out a smaller piece of a large napkin just to make this a little more manageable to cut, a little more manageable to work with. I'll have links down below to napkins. 
I can't always guarantee that I'll be able to find the napkins that I'm using. Now what I want to do is if you have a three ply napkin, meaning there are three layers to it, I want, which would be this layer, a middle layer, and the top, I want to remove that bottom layer. And then I want to take just a magazine. You can use scrap paper of any kind. I'm throwing this out, which is why I'm using it. And I'm going to draw the template on here. I'm just going to outline this. And again, just to make this easier to work with, just going to cut away the excess. Oops, got a little wet there. And now that napkin that is only two ply because I pulled the third layer away, what I'm going to do is flip this over and on the back, I'm using a repositionable glue stick. Placing the napkin face up. And now I'm going to cut this out. And now that I have my shape cut out, I can pull away this top layer. The bottom layer sticks to this magazine piece which we can now throw out. We've got a pretty oval shape and we can do three of these to fit over our surface. And now we can use our napkin decoupage glue to decoupage the image on here. And because this isn't that large of a napkin piece, I prefer to use what I call the dry method which is where I put the napkin down over the surface. And then from the center out, I use the decoupage glue, which just gives me more control, helps me to eliminate wrinkles, and I'll show you how I do that. So my napkin is in the spot where I'd like it to be, and I'm going to add napkin decoupage glue, and the links for this are down below. This is formulated so that it goes right through the napkin. And by the way, I start in the center because this will give you a nice even finish. And push the napkin out, and I'm going in a star pattern. And you wanna load this brush frequently, so I'm dipping it back into the decoupage glue. And again, you can put a couple of books alongside of your piece so that it doesn't roll. I never do that. I'm sorry, you guys. That's, it's really a good suggestion. And you can actually pull the napkin a tiny bit. You don't want to tear it, so of course, very gently. But this will also help to keep any wrinkles out. This is a very good way to decoupage, I need more glue, on a curved surface. So in that star pattern, this pushes any air bubbles or wrinkles out. And once you've got it down the way you would like, you can apply another coat of the decoupage glue over the whole surface and then put this aside to dry. Now I'll stand this up and I will work on the other sides and then come back when this is all dry and we'll add our top coat to waterproof it. Okay, so here is the pot that is just about completed. The last thing that I'm going to do is spray the Americana. I'm using the gloss finish. I'll have links to everything down below. Sometimes these things sell out quickly, but I am using the Americana, the Deco Art Gloss Sealer. You may want the matte finish. Whichever one I can find, I'll put the link to below or both if I can find it and that will protect this just one step further. Look, before I do that, I can't leave well enough alone. I'm going to take a metallic dark green and a dark green color just to pick up this accent, and I'm going to splatter it over this surface. So I'm taking my very flexible toothbrush that I used specifically for this, 
and I'm going to put a little bit of the metallic by Deco Art. It's called Crystal Green and a little bit of the Holly Green by Deco Art down on my surface and splatter it over my terracotta pot. Splatter a little of this off before you splatter it on your surface so you don't get any very large splatters. And I'm turning this brush in different directions so that the splatters all go in different directions. And I'm going to let this dry. And because these are such tiny little flecks of paint, they'll dry pretty quickly. And then I'll spray our sealer and we'll be all done. Hey, one thing I want to mention, a huge thank you to everyone last week when I posted the video of the decoupage clothes pins. When I posted that video, I had asked you guys for some suggestions as to what else you would do with them. And I got so many great ideas. All right, my friends. So this is our project for the week. Nice and weatherproof, waterproof decoupage. We can put a little soil and a pretty flower inside of there or a plant. You can use these indoors or outdoors. And since we've made it waterproof, we're all set to use it outside. So if you've got any questions, feel free to follow me over on Facebook at Upcycle with Decoupage. And as always, thank you so much for subscribing. That helps me out so much. Hope you're enjoying this lovely springtime into the summer. And I'll see you next week. Thanks again, my friends. Bye-bye.